Hi, I'm Dr. George Ho of Vancouver. This movie is an introduction of an article that expands Master Nam's teaching on Chan walking for longevity and health. His instructions are a lot simpler than similar practices in Japan called Kinhin, which is characterized by a lot of rituals. His Chan walking combined the chanting of the name of Buddha and walk in a state of chanting or samadhi so that you do not feel your walking at all. The instruction in yellow prints are his instruction in Chinese that I have translated into English for you. Do not stump your feet as if you are a soldier marching and walk as if you're a cat trying to catch a mouse and then when you land your foot you land your foot as if there's a mountain on top of your head while you're walking you chant the name of buddha amitabha detail of how to chant into chanting or samadhi has been well explained in the movie that i uploaded just before I uploaded this one, and I'll put the link in the illustration. Here is the short demo. Master Nam told us a real case of getting enlightenment using a more advanced and more difficult kind of this kind of method and the individual involved is called Da Yu Asli. In 1926, when he was 39 years old, he decided to practice Ban Zhou San Wei, which requires the practitioner to chant the name of Buddha and to walk in Sassani day and night without lying down or sitting. When tired, the practitioner could only lean on the rope to take a rest. After a few days, he was exhausted and had to crawl. However, the devotion enabled him to enter a deep state of chanting and obtain the grace and teaching of Pu Sen Pu Sa, and he was enlightened. Master Nam had great respect for Da Yuaduri. Professor Herbert Benson, a cardiologist of Harvard University, has done a similar design that combines meditation with walking. As a cardiologist, his book, The Relaxation Response, is a big success. However, as the founder of Transcendental Meditation, on which his book based, died, and TM's claim for health and peace found to be overinflated. His subsequent publication and his design that combined meditation with walking, called Focus Walking, are not as popular as his first book, The Relaxation Response. Dr. Benson then did not know that Chan walking is the principle of Tai Chi applied into walking. We cannot blame Professor Benson because he does not know Tai Chi and he does not know Zen. This is why I have modernized and secularized this religious Chan walking practice into a modern practice which I call Treadmill Ram Tai Chi. I have self-published this article, Treadmill Ram Tai Chi, and I am selling it at a really low introductory price. The way to buy the articles is in the illustration down below and in the comment down below. In the comment, you can take a look at the content of this article and you'll know that it is a well written with a lot of new ideas. For instance, most Tai Chi instructors interpret the shoulder requirement of Sun Jian Zui Zhao as sinking the shoulder and the elbow. This is just a literal translation and does not have too much meaning.
in real application in my treadmill ram tai chi this shoulder requirement is actually a manifestation of the peng form of tai chi power a just enough fussy logic kind of resistance to the gravitational pull and it helps and reinforces the routine in doing tai chi and in doing chan walking hi i'm dr george ho this concludes the movie and if you like this movie please click like and please share it with your friend in other media like facebook and it would really motivate me to make more movie like this if you would subscribe to my channel thank you very much for watching i'm dr george subscription is totally free